Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. Da 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 da, happy days, my fantastic numismatic artistic friends. It's me, Master Temple. We're going to do a cold, cold scene because it's winter time. So on this canvas, you may notice it looks a different colour. It is a light blue, almost a grey colour. We're going to do a cold, cold, cold winter scene. And I've coated this grey colour. It's just grey and blue acrylic paint mixed together. Coated the canvas, allowed it to dry completely. Then on top of that, I've coated it in a very thin, even coat of liquid clear, which is basically linseed oil. Now on top of that, we're just putting in a nice little sky, so on a one inch uh, little paintbrush here, we're just adding some titanium white oil paint. And we're just gonna leave some breaks in the sky. That will give us a nice little wintry kind of sky. We're gonna have a mountain in this, so we don't want too much up here in the sky. Now in the corners, we're gonna darken it off with a bit of Prussian blue. This is a dark blue. It's, it's like a blue mixed with black. So it's, it, it's, it's very cold, very cold. We'll have to put the central heating on when looking at this painting. And in places, in this sky, we're just gonna fill in with a bit of this Prussian blue. Just like that, just like so. And then down here, we'll probably have a path or a stream or some ice, I don't know. We'll have some snow, that is for sure. So we'll just clean the brush off down here on the canvas. Side to side, that's just all we're after. So with a dry brush, and this is dry and it's clean as well. I'm gonna blend all these colors together up in the sky. So we've got the Prussian blue and the white. And we've got the little parts where we've got no paint at all. And then we're just going to blend all this together so we'll get a cold, cold sky. It'll look like a, the clouds are low and they're full of snow. That's what we're after. That's what we're after. Every now and again, we might need to knock off the paint, off the paintbrush, wipe it clean on a paper towel and start again. Just like that. There we go. And across the bottom, of course, the liquid clear is on the canvas. We can blend colour. We can blend colour. Right here on the canvas. Right, so we've got a dark colour. We've got blues and blacks. Tiny bit of crimson in there as well, but not much. We don't want to we don't want to warm this painting up. And we're gonna put a basic little mountain far away. We're gonna have a couple of mountains, I think, in this one. So we'll make a make one that is far away. We're putting the basic shape of a mountain and then with a dry brush we're just going to pull out the excess paint that's it and you see the tiny bit of crimson that we've added into that it's given it like a dark dark purpley color there we go and blend it into mist blend this thing into mist just like that <laughs> gotta say, gotta stop saying just like that, or like so. I get told off for it quite a lot. So, white paint, thick white, titanium white paint on the far edge of the knife, and we're just gonna pick out some highlights. We don't want much. Remember, this is a, a mountain, a mountain peak that is far away, and we just put in a few odds and sods of highlights bit more here no pressure just graze the canvas no pressure at all the only part that's touching the canvas is the paint no part of the knife touches the canvas not when we're putting highlights and shadows on and with a bit of white paint mixed with blue we can creep in some little some little shadows there we go just there like so I keep saying it, I keep saying it folks. <laughs> there. Very gently, very gently. That's all we need to do. That's all we need to do. And then we come back to the white and we can redefine some of these highlights. There. 
Happy days. Good stuff. Good stuff. Let's put a bit more there. It's disturbing me. It's disturbing me a little bit. We haven't quite gone far enough over. Pick out some more little shadows. There, so we're going to grab a brush now and diffuse the bottom. Diffuse the bottom of this mountain. I've got a bit of white paint on this paintbrush. It's not much, but just a tiny bit. Sometimes when we put liquid clear on the canvas, we may need to add a bit of white painting when we're trying to make fog and mist. And then all we're doing is just, just beating, beating the base of this mountain up, diffusing, and we can bring it all together. We just want this little faraway peak sat in the clouds, sat in the mist, sat in the cold. There we go. That cold, I'm having to put my coat on to paint. <laughs> right, so with that in the background, we'll give him a big, big friend right here in the foreground. So there we go. So again, that same dark colour mixed with Prussian blue, black, a tiny bit of crimson. And we'll put in some more, some more peaks just on this left-hand side. Many as you want, or as few as you want. It don't much matter, just as long as we're having fun. It's Christmas time. It is Christmas time. Well, it is when it's going out originally, this video. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Just like that. There we go. Right, so we've got the base colour painted in. And then we just grab this and pull like that. Did you like the new intro anyway? My my good mate Matt from Coins and More, he made that for me and I lost my other one. I don't know what I did with it, did with it you know. I must have deleted the file by accident and tried to get it off somewhere and it, it sort of like went all, all crazy on me. So Matt says, oh, I've, I've got a good idea for you, Dan. He did it and it looks absolutely fantastic. So so thanks Matt, that's brilliant stuff. I appreciate it. Really do. Right, so we've got this big old mountain sat in the foreground now. So again, white paint on the edge. Right on the edge. I don't know if you can see that. Just a little tiny roll of paint. The knife's actually catching the light. But a little tiny roll of paint. And we're just going to gently touch the canvas. And again. It's only the paint that's touching the canvas. It's only the paint that's touching the canvas. Certainly nothing with the knife blade. We don't want the knife blade touching. If, if that happens, you'll end up scraping the paint, paint off more than anything. And if you're applying too much pressure, you're gonna end up with just a pure white mountain. We want all these little holes and breaks and some of that under color to come through, don't we? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. We can fetch it down there. And mountains grow in any shapes and any sizes, so you're never going to get this wrong. As long as you've got the basic shape of a mountain, it could be any mountain in the world. One of my good Taekwondo buddies, he, he's a mountain climber and he goes all over the place, been on Everest and you know, just for fun for the weekend, he'll go up the, uh, you know, Ben Nevis and we'll go to Snowdon. And we'll, could do that we? before we were confined to barracks. But, uh, but yeah, he sent me some beautiful pictures of mountains. That, you know, the breathtaking, aren't they? They really are breathtaking. So what we're doing now, just a little bit of shadow colour. Shadow colour just on this side. Now I've said this many, many times before. Because I'm right-handed, it, it, it is easier for me to paint highlights on the right-hand side. I, I don't know why. I don't know why. I've tried this a few times. I've, I've tried to put the shadows on the, the left hand. Sorry, the, the highlights on the left-hand side, and it, it just don't feel right for me. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why. Maybe I need to have a word with myself about shadows and highlights. <laughs> that could be a New Year's resolution. 
You never know. You never know, folks. But all we're doing is, is, is working on this, working on this mountain. We said we'd have a big gold mountain, and that's what, exactly what we're getting. Now just remember, every shadow needs a highlight, and every highlight needs a shadow. Don't just leave one hanging up there. It'll, it'll hurt your eyes. You won't be able to quite see. You'll be like, like something's not right there. You won't know what it is, but it's there. It's there. And then we can bring some of this shadow colour down into the uh, into the middle ground. Huh. And then reaffirm some of this snowy edge. Gently, gently does it. Gently does it. Gently does it. There. 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 Just like that. There. <laughs> so what's Santa fetching us all this year? What's Santa fetching us all? I'm going to get a lump of coil, buff. <laughs> That's what I used to get threatened with as a kid. You don't be good, Dan, you're gonna get a lump of coil off of Santa Claus. <laughs> right, so enough of that jibber jabber. Let's blend the base of this mountain up. So again, we're a bit more white paint on. Just a tiny bit, we don't need much. And we've got the half inch brush here. I like this little one, because it's on these smaller canvases, we can use this to sneak into into places around these mountains. If we were doing a big canvas, we'd, we'd use the one inch, uh, one inch brush or, or even or even a bigger one, the, the two inch. Like you saw on a couple of uh, couple of videos back, the, the foggy the foggy lake. How did you find that one? That's probably one of the you, you know one of the better better paintings we've done for a long time. But they're all individual. They're all individual. Just reaffirm this edge. Because we put that fog down, that, that mist, we can come back in with this, this snowy edge, just like that, and it pushes it further back, pushes the back of that mountain further back, and gives another plane in the, in the painting. And it looks kind of deep, that snow there now. Kind of deep. It's really thick paint. And when it dries, it's the beauty of oil painting. I suppose you get it as well with acrylics, but, but when it dries, you'll be able to feel the snow. And we get a similar sort of effect when we're, when we're painting stones or when we're painting the bark of trees. When, when, when the paint dries, you can feel it. It looks almost 3D, so it's amazing. Good stuff. Right, back to the, back to the brush with a bit of white paint on and we'll just, we'll just miss that area out there. We haven't even thought on what we're going to do in the foreground yet. We just wanted to work on a big cold mountain. A big cold mountain. There, just like that. See, this misty area creates all sorts of, 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 of planes of depth and distance in there. Look at that. If you squint your eyes, you'd almost think it were a photograph, wouldn't you? <laughs> right, let's work on some little trees in the foreground. I think that's what we'll do. This is a simple method, simple way. Oh, we're doing a bit of light blue colour, so it's Prussian blue mixed with a bit of white paint, a bit of titanium white, and all we're doing is tapping. You can see what we're doing, just tap, 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 all along, and then forgive the hand, it gets in the way, I know it does. But all we're doing is just flicking upwards, straight up as well. And that little flick will give the indication that on this hill, on this little plain here, there's tiny, tiny trees. Well, they appear tiny to us, but that's because of perspective and all that lot. But they give the impression of, of trees way back here, way back at the base of this mountain. Yeah. There we go. There. And we can create.
creep another one in. Change the flavour a little bit. We change the flavour of the paint. Because what we what we want is to try and create as many of these little layers as you can with the area of fog between. If you can see for miles and miles and miles, that's what that's what makes a painting stand out. If it doesn't look flat, I, I, I don't like looking at flat paintings unless they're, unless they're meant to be flat. But you, you know as well as I know, when, when a landscape is, is, is set up, you're looking at a landscape, it's got to be, you know, like you can see for, for miles and miles and miles. So we've added some white paint to the base of that bluey little, little set of trees there. Blended it all by tapping as hard as we can. Let's create some snow there. So it's just plain, plain titanium white, plain titanium white, just pulling, just pulling down, smooth strokes, very easy to paint in snow. You don't have to work about anything. You don't have to worry about it. You just pull in the direction that the that the land is going in. There we go, just like that. There we go. Down into that. I don't know what we're going to have. Is it a stream? Is it a path? I don't know. I haven't thought about it yet. But that's the great thing. You just change his mind halfway through painting. We can do it. We can do it. Let's make it like a, a little little stream of ice. But very cold. Smooth out, smooth out that snow. There we go. So what we've got here, a little filbert brush. I keep going back to these. I don't. They're very tiny. They, they don't hold much paint, but they, I seem to have made friends with these little filbert brushes. The weird thing is, is that they're not. They're not even made for oil paints. The, the, the watercolour brushes, but I think because the fine air that, you, that, that they have, you can bring them to a really sharp point and it, 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 gives, it gives a nice, uh, a nice effect when we're painting little, uh, little evergreen trees like this. We're just zigzagging this little, this little set of trees here. Any more? Any more? There we go. And with that, we've got a nice little pack of trees. What do we call them? Forest, mini forest, pack of trees, herd of trees, school of trees, I don't know. Nice little wooded area. There we go. Because we're painting in blues, blues are very, very cold. <sighs> very cold colours. I'm shivering just thinking about it. Right, with a clean knife. And all we're doing is just scratching in the odd tree trunk here and there. The white canvas will show through, only very, very, very thinly, you know, you know just a tiniest little line but it'll give the indication of a nice little tree trunk if you were to look closely at this. Now, because this is thick paint, we need to put a thinner paint on there. So we'll use, we'll use a little bit of liquid white and we'll mix that in with the normal titanium white, just to thin it down a touch. And we'll just tap down and put some, some snow out here on these little, these limbs of these, these evergreen trees. We don't want much, we don't want to overdo it. Just like that. And it's just a touch, just a light touch. You've seen me make these trees many, many times before. In fact, one of my popularest videos, uh, I made the Christmas tree on the shorts, 
the shorts videos and, and that's done quite well it's, it's, it's one of my popular one of my most popular videos in fact it was Bungle's idea to do the shorts videos I was knocking out quick paintings before and then he, he says why don't you do these short videos and, um, and give me a bit of guidance and a bit of tips like this and, and <laughs> Some of the stuff that we've done on there, the most popular, because they're only a minute long as well. People have got a minute to give you. And, and uh, if you can do a painting in a minute, then that's that's fantastic, isn't it? Or part of a painting. So we'll just come back, put some more, some more little trees, some more little, some more little uh, highlights on these trees. Damn, I'm going to have to go get my woolly hat on in a minute. <laughs> Can it get any colder, this, this painting? Yeah, there we go. Give me a dad away. Right, we're just going to scrape some of this paint off. We've we'll put a couple of layers of paint on there now. And we want some, we want some snow just underneath that. So, on a fan brush with a bit of white paint, titanium white again, that's all we that's all we've used, blue and white basically, with a bit of colour for the mountain, for the mountain undercoat. That's all we're using. But we're just going to feather out some of the shadows into the snow and then bring it down. And because, because this painting is, is mainly blue, it doesn't matter if we've got a nice big blue streak in the snow, that will look like shadows or deep, deep snow, you know, sometimes you get blue ice, don't you? It, 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 just, it just looks right, just feels right. Now then, I've double loaded this brush here, so on a, on a round brush, and I've got some, some dark colour, some dark paint, and some light paint. So it's a dark brown mixed with, with obviously, mixed it with the brown paint with a touch of black in there mixed that up loaded the brush and then on half of the brush I've gone into some some thin white paint and that will give us that will give us the highlight and shadow in one stroke it's kind of kind of sneaky it's, it's quick the highlight and shadow all in one go Tinker with this if you wish. Yeah. We've got a nice little tree trunk. We've got a nice little tree trunk there. So with some thin paint, so we've got some paint thinner, we've got some paint thinner with that dark brown colour we've mixed. We're just gonna flick in some, some dead sticks that are living on this tree. Oh, you know, I stuck onto this tree. Some, some evergreens have, have that sort of style of, of old stick. It's flicking out. It's got to be thin. We've, we've created a lot of layers of paint on this painting. So we've got to have a thin paint. As you probably know, the big man, the big man with fuzzy hairs, golden rule is a thin paint. We'll always stick to a thick paint. So you've got to thin it down with some paint thinner. You've got to thin it down with some paint thinner. And we'll just put some, some sticks and twigs down, down at the base here. There. Whoa. We've got an old dead tree here. <laughs> We've got what looks like an old dead tree. We could leave it like that, but we'll, we'll, we'll give him some air. We'll bring, we'll bring this tree back, back to life. So on the fan brush, dark dark green color so this is made with sap green we put a touch of phthalo green in there as well that, that's, that's like an emerald green but really sparkles it off and we'll just put the indication of a few a few pine needles just still still hanging on to life here maybe this tree wasn't doing so good maybe maybe when he was growing up the, the deer the reindeer that came through here Decided to get a bit hungry and nibble it, nibble <laughs> at his branches. And we'll put some dark colour down in the base, just for shadow. That easy, that easy. Of course, we need to highlight 
I like this, so when my arm gets out of the way, you'll see a little bit of white paint. Again, this is just made with, with a little bit of liquid white and normal titanium white, just mixed together, just to thin the titanium white down. And we want to emphasize more on the right hand side of the tree because our mountain dictates highlights are coming from the, the right hand side, the left hand side, but you don't want to leave fully out the left hand side. There, like that. Now we've got snow on that tree as well. And then we'll put some snow, some more snow down here. And that's it. Very cold. And just imagine the sledge coming on, you know, with the, the pack of, uh, what are they? Huskies, that's it, huskies. I was thinking wolves, but you don't want wolves pulling you about, do you? That would hurt. <laughs> They'll probably take you out into the forest to, you know, and, and turn on you. Yes. Right, let's sign this one. This is done now. I hope you enjoyed it, my fantastic friends. Do wrap up warm. It is a cold one. Woo. Until next time, do take care. I'll see you all later. And of course, happy days. <laughs>